Alright, good morning friends. It's been a couple of days since the last uh, recording, but I'm out again because this time it's gonna be a little bit warm today. It's still kinda chilly out, but maybe able to find some snakes under rocks today. So we will see. Maybe I will get lucky. There's a thrush over there. I'm not sure what this is exactly. I'm really really bad with ID in thrushes, but it's pretty neat. I don't think I've ever seen one around this area. So cool. Alright, here is the first herp of the day. Of course it would be a fence lizard, but you know what? It's November, so I'll take seeing any reptiles. Um, it's gonna get cold soon, so of course these guys are just gonna be out of here. Um, so yeah, pretty neat. They're obviously in the warmer months, they're just kind of everywhere in these open fields, but... Starting to get cold, so they're not being as common today as they were say in October or especially in the spring. In the spring they're just kind of everywhere. But yeah, pretty neat. I'll just uh, let them crawl back under the rock and move on. <coughs> there you go. Well, here is another fence lizard. Again, under a rock. I saw a little brown skink as well, but they got away. I mean, those are really hard to catch, but... This guy will go back under the rock. And I still haven't seen snakes. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I'll get to see snakes today, but it's cool to see some reptiles at least. Oh my god, there was a snake under this rock. We did it, we found one snake. <laughs> it's a little smooth earth snake. I'm gonna see if I can get a better look at them, but I'm actually pretty happy that I was able to get one because I've been here for probably over an hour and a half and hadn't found a single one, so I was just about to head out too. Alright. I'm gonna get this little uh, guy out. Alright, before anything happens, I have the snake in my hand, but this little brown skink just popped up under this rock. So that's pretty neat, and I know this species is just gonna like dart off immediately. So I just wanted to get a recording really, really fast with my phone. Um, I mean, if they're able to just pose there, that'd be amazing, but this species just runs away so fast, it's like, yeah, just wanted to get a quick recording. Pretty neat. Alright, so I don't think I've shown this species in the channel just yet. This individual is super, super tiny. But these snakes are one of the smallest snakes in Tennessee anyway, if not the smallest. That you're gonna be able to find, at least species-wise. Um, they are fossorial, of course, so they would burrow. But they can be found occasionally under rocks and logs. So this one was probably just out uh, warming up a little bit. But, um, yeah, just like that, there's a few other species, but... Uh, earth snakes are really, really neat. You sometimes see them on the road, too, but... Definitely under rocks, I see them a lot more often. Very cool, so first snake of the day. Hopefully we'll see more, I'm not counting on that, it's been so slow, but it's November, too, so... It'd be like that. But yeah, gonna keep going. Look at how small this little guy is. <laughs> But yeah, smooth earth snakes tend to be like this. Obviously, they can get a lot bigger, but they're still kind of small. But yeah, well, let's put them back under their rock. There you go. Stay safe during winter. And let's keep going. Maybe we'll see something else. I'm not counting on it, but who knows? All right, I just flipped our second snake of the day. It's a ring neck snake. And honestly, a really, really huge one at that. I think this may be the biggest ring neck I've ever seen. This is absolutely huge. Um, I just slipped them under this rock right here. Seems like that rock also has a hole because they were just about to go in and I was able to just grab them before they did that. Look at that. Very, very pretty yellow. Yeah, this thing is huge. Wow. <laughs> Massive. Again, these ones are technically venomous snakes, but I mean, the rare fact that they barely, rarely ever bite. So, not too bad. I'm gonna see if I can get some quick shots and then let them go. Alright, just kind of as a better comparison for this ring neck size, look at this. Wow, generally they don't get like half as big as this, at least most of the ones that I've seen. This one is absolutely ridiculous, what a chunker. Anyway, let's get them back under the rock and I'm gonna keep going. Alright, here's this rock right here, so... Off you go. 
very very cool <laughs> all right let's keep going maybe i'll see some more snakes who knows hello friends it's november but it's still gonna get up to the 70s today so i'm back at this one because it's the only place that has reliably given me snakes during october so i'm gonna hope for the best today and see if we see any snakes oh wow that's really cool yeah there were a few uh I th I'm not sure which hoax this is. I think they're red shouldered. Um, they just flew by. Really neat. All right, don't ask me how I saw this, but there's a tree frog here. So this is gonna be the first herp of the day. This one is just kind of surfing on the leaves and doesn't really care too much. It's kind of funny. I'm not sure if they're bird voiced or um, or copse gray, but we'll take a look at them in a second. Alright, so they're taking a look at their thighs. They're a bird boy tree frog. Woo, let's go. Alright. This is a different spot from where I've seen the other one, so that's pretty cool actually. Um, again, these frogs are really rare in Middle Tennessee because their range is so small. So it is pretty cool to have seen another one of these. That's awesome. This is only a third one that I've seen. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna get some quick pictures of them. And then release them back under their or back on their uh, leaves. All right, here you go. There we go, perfect. But yeah, now this the, the wind is going ham, and this frog is like, I like this <laughs> nice roller coaster. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. See if I find uh, snakes today. All right, here is the second herp of the day. A green tree frog I just spotted on this tree or branch, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess I gotta keep an eye out for tree frogs today because this is the second one that I see in very quick succession. So it's pretty cool. Again, I really like this species. Very, very pretty green. Uh, one of my favorites in Tennessee, so yeah, neat. I'll just leave them be. All right, so I didn't move too far from where the other green tree frog was. And then there were just two green tree frogs on top of this leaf, surfing on it again on the wind, just like the bird boy's tree frog. That's pretty cool. I guess it's gonna be a frog kind of day. You know what? I'll take that. I love these frogs, so uh, we'll keep going. Well, here is the first snake of the day. Of course, it will be a ringneck snake. Um, but you know what? It's November. I will take any snake that I can get, so it's pretty cool. So I flip them under a rock. They obviously musked on me, and the musk of ringneck snakes is actually pretty strong, I feel. <laughs> it smells really bad, but oh well, it is what it is. Very pretty too, uh, obviously a much smaller one compared to the one that I found last video. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'll leave this guy go and keep going. So I think my plan right now is, because it's been kind of slow, I will try to check on a den of cottonmouths that I found last week and uh, I'll get back to you all on that one after I release this guy. <clears throat> well unfortunately there's none outside that I can see. I have to take a better look but it's gonna be looking like a bust. Well there is one down there. Uh, I was kind of hoping there would be some out basking but just because it's so warm, but I guess I was kind of wrong. Well, maybe later in the day they will. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can spot one that is actually outside. We'll see. All right, we did it. I caught a mouth outside. Sweet. All right. Let's get a better look at this snake. Wow, okay. So this snake took off. After I said, I'm gonna get a better look at them, they just took off. I was able to follow them at least. Um, so yeah, I'm right beside them now. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't lose them. Yeah, very pretty, very patternless uh, cotton mouth right here. Not particularly huge, but a decent size nonetheless. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can get some good shots and see if I can get a better look at them too. Snake is being very hard to work with. Like they just keep taking off whenever I 
try to even get close. So I don't know. I may this may be the last that we see of them. If I'm able to actually get a better look at them, I'll show that. But if not, we'll keep going. Well, the cotton mouth took off. They went under a hole. So it's a little bit of a shame, but that's okay. I was still able to get a decent video. And hey, here's another green tree frog. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe we'll see some more snakes. Who knows? There is a snake crossing the trail here. Oh, wait. Oh, sh everyone. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm about to cry, I swear. This is a lifer for me. <laughs> oh my god, Eastern Ribbon Snake. I'm actually about to cry. I'm actually so excited. I know these are common in a lot of places, but they're really hard here. Oh my god, it was just crossing the trail. <sighs> oh my god. I don't, <laughs> this may be a little cringe, maybe. But I'm actually so excited. I cannot believe it. This is a lifer for me. Well, lifer... <laughs> so, as a story, I guess, I've seen this snake twice before. But both of the times that I saw them, they escaped, so I wasn't able to capture them or get a picture. Well, this time I'm actually gonna be able to get a picture. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm actually so happy. You have no idea. Alright, I'm gonna get the recording real quick because I know I'm gonna stay here for a bit taking pictures of this guy. But wow, what a find. Okay, now that I'm calmed down a little bit. Um, so why is this snake so hard? They're also just kind of found in like West Tennessee. In Middle Tennessee, the range is also restricted, just like Cottonmouths are, for example. Um, they don't go into the Nashville Basin. They don't go anywhere west from here, frankly. Well, I think they have been found a little bit west from here, but still pretty hard. So this is basically the best spot to see them, and they're still pretty difficult snakes to find here. So I'm really happy about this. Again, this is the second one that I, or the third one that I see, but the first one that actually doesn't escape. So it's a, I mean, not a lifer, I guess, but a picture lifer. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep taking pictures and let them go. Uh, shortly after. Alright, I'm just about ready to let this guy go. Um, I don't know if all ribbon snakes are like this, but this one was probably the most cooperative snake I've ever photographed. They stood still like the entire time, and they were really nice about <laughs> getting poses and stuff, so that's pretty awesome. But yeah, uh, they were crossing this way, so I'll just let them do whatever they were doing. Thank you so much. I'm uh, I'm actually so happy <laughs> about this. Incredible. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Obviously, I spent a lot of time just photographing this snake, but we'll see. Maybe we'll see some other snakes here. All right. Well, second ring neck of the day. This one actually I spotted on the leaf litter because they made some noise. I guess they just kind of fell a little bit from the hill and I looked to where the noise came from and I saw them, so I was able to go grab them. Um, pretty neat. Obviously just leave this guy going here just a second, but very pretty. All right, let's keep going. Well, just to add a little bit of species tally for today, there's a tool and so I'm under right there. Isn't there a log near a creek? It's pretty neat, but probably just let them go real quick. So, okay, I'm blind. <laughs> There's the two lines I'm under that I was speaking about, right? Right there? That's under this log. Well, on this side of the log, there was this decayed brown snake, which. This is only the second alive one that I see here in the park. This is pretty tough one to find around here and I'm actually really shocked that I flipped that one under a log near the swamp so weird but wow that is a cool one too just kind of like the ribbon snakes they I mean they are found in East Tennessee right they're probably way easier in, in East Tennessee than they are here in Middle Tennessee but this snake does not go into the Nashville Basin for some reason like the Sierra Glades are bad same thing with the other store area the the red-bellied snake tends to also be pretty hard to find around here be 
because it's kind of like the limit of the range quote unquote i guess like you go a little bit east uh, from here and you go into the nashville basin and they just don't go there that is a cool find though wow only the second one again that i find alive here <laughs> so today i got a ribbon snake and a, a decayed brown snake that is crazy i'm gonna go take pictures of this guy too pretty happy about that wow all right i got some pictures it was pretty hard to get them to sit still and i also spent some time talking with uh, some of the people that work in the park because they wanted to see a snake and stuff so i just talked to them a little bit about them uh but yeah pretty cool that's most of the day gone so i think after i release this little guy i'm gonna start making my way back to the parking lot but yeah let's do it i'm gonna drop my snake stick Right back under the log There we go. Very nice. That's a. I mean, if I don't see any more snakes, that's a great way to just end it. That's four snake species and two that I rarely ever see around here. So I'll take that. All right. Let's go back. I'll let you all know if I see something else. If not. Yeah, that'll be the end. Well, I'm glad the episode isn't over, because here we have a third ring neck for the day. This one was flipped under that rock down there. Um, decently big too, also very pretty. And uh, yeah, I'll probably just let them crawl back under the rock here soon. It's starting to get sunset. I, <laughs> I forgot that we had daylight savings like this weekend. So... Sunset is way earlier too, but yeah, let's get let's let this guy back under the rock. All right, sweet. All right, let's keep going. Maybe we'll see something else. I don't know. Well, I just flipped this zigzag salamander. Uh, probably just gonna let them crawl back under the rock but this essentially just signalizes that the start of winter is coming up soon um, nope. so yeah because this is like the classic winter species of Tennessee at least of this part of Tennessee so yeah just gonna let them crawl back under the rock and keep going I mean I'm pretty close to the entrance of the park so yeah they're right so after the zigzag salamander, I didn't find anything else. So I'm happy to call it here. Um, with this weird bug that I don't know what it is. But yeah, thanks everyone all for watching. And uh, I will see you all next time. Have a very good day or night. Bye bye.